Today I'm going to show you a simple basic photo editing program which comes free with Microsoft Office 7 and Microsoft Office 2010 but unfortunately I believe it is not available on 2013. Now depending on which version you have it would be called Microsoft Office Picture Manager or Microsoft Office 2010. It doesn't matter what the name is, they both look and act the same. So let's get started. First of all, always work on a copy, never the original. It's really easy to damage the original. Right click on the copy, go to Open With. Go across to the program and mine is called Microsoft Office 2010. Yours may be called Microsoft Office Picture Manager and it could be in any order here. Left click on it. That opens the picture in the program. So go up to Edit Pictures. Click on it. That opened this menu here which is the Edit Pictures main tool menu. We're not going to take the autocorrect options at this stage, we're going to look into the toolbox. So first go down, click on Brightness and Contrast. In here, you can adjust the brightness, the contrast and the midtones. You can do it with the sliders, with your keyboard, and with these little roller things. If you do something and you don't like it, all you do is come up and click the undo button. And you keep undoing till you've undone whatever it is you don't like. You go back to the Edit Pictures main menu. Try Colour. Here you can adjust the amount of colour, the hue or the saturation. Now, if you take the saturation all the way down, you actually turn it into a black and white photo. And again, go to your undo button if you don't like it. Come back to this little button here, click it, and it will take you right back to your Edit Pictures main menu. Come down, click on Crop. Now, here you have some drag handles which you can do a free crop by dragging it in and out. This area here that stays bright, this is your crop window, and when your cursor is in it, it will turn into a crosshatch, and you can move that window to wherever you like. Now this is the area that will stay, the other area, which is greyed out, is the area that gets cropped off. If you like it, click OK. If you don't like it, click Undo. Now, if you want the photo to crop, but you want to crop it so that it stays in the same ratio that it is now, so when it's blown up, it can go back into the same frame, hold down your Shift key while you're dragging it. So Hold your shift key down and drag. And you will see that the height and the width stay in ratio to the original photo. You can still drag that box to wherever you like. You can go OK, say I like it. If I don't like it, use the undo button. So go back to your Edit Pictures menu. There's a button called Rotate and Flip. You can rotate the photos around and you can flip them. Now Flip gives you a mirror image. So if you click it, the bird's looking the other way. If you click the vertical one, he's standing on his head. If you don't like what you've done, just use the undo button. Go back to the Edit Pictures main menu. 
Now there's a red eye removal button. Now, unfortunately my penguins don't have red eyes. But if they did, I would take my pointer over and put it over their eyes. When it goes over there, it looks like a target, a sight from a rifle or something. If you click it, go to the other one, assuming it has a red eye, click it, and click OK, the red eye would have disappeared. But you'd have to take my word for it because the penguin doesn't have red eyes. So, go back to the Edit Pictures main menu again. Now, every now and again, somebody will say, the picture you sent me was too big. I'm on dial-up. Could you send me a smaller one? So there's a button down here called Resize. Click on it. In here, it tells me the original size of my photo as it is now. And up here, it says predefined width and height. Now, if you click this drop-down arrow, you can go down and click on a very small email, click OK, and it will take it all the way down to that size for you if you like. And you send that to your friend. If you don't like it, click on the undo button again. So go back to your main menu. Now you might be thinking, OK, what else can I do? So I will close this. I am not going to save the changes. And in here I have a photo of Margaret. I've had made a copy of her. I will right click on the copy. I will go to open with. Microsoft Office 2010 in my case. As I said, yours could be Microsoft Office Picture Manager. I will left click and open it. Now this photo has opened in the program and this photo was so bad I didn't know what to do with it my husband took it he was inside looking out so I clicked on autocorrect and it lightened it now every time you click autocorrect up here you need to save the changes or it won't do it again so I clicked autocorrect again save the changes again clicked autocorrect again save the changes again Click auto correct again, save the changes again. Clicked it again, saved it again. And you can see that it's probably gone as far as it needs to, but for the sake of today, I'll do another one. Oh, that's not too bad. And I'll click save again. So that's pretty reasonable. I will close it. I saved those changes as I went along. So now I have, because I saved those changes that I didn't have to at the end, sorry, I should have said that. That's what I did, and that was the original photo. So you can see the difference in that now I know who she is. I know that there's another person in the room, and here she could be anybody. So. That's a rainy day project for you.